Hello, kindergarten artists. Today we are going to make a line painting with watercolor oil pastel resist. All right, let's get started. On the back, we want to write our, you got it, our name. Okay, next, I'm going to pick out some of my favorite lines that we just talked about. So, maybe first I do a zigzag. So I'm going to go pointy up, down, up, down. And you are going to pick what line you want to do first. But you're going to go all the way from the left to the right. Then I'm going to leave just a little space and make my next line. So maybe next I do wavy. Up and down, smooth. Leave another space. Perhaps now I'm going to do loopy. Up, around, down. Up, around, down. And then how about a castle line next? Right, up, right, down. Right, up, right, down. Maybe a bumpy line. Now you are going to need to have at least five lines. So let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five. But if you end up having space left, is it okay to make another one? Sure. Okay, so let's see. I did not do a dashed line yet. Let's do that. Dash, dash, dash. Okay, once your paper is full with lines, the next thing you're going to do is we're going to take these super, super cool neon oil pastels. And you're going to pick your first color, which is up to you. So I've got neon pink here. And you're going to trace your line. So I am not coloring. I am just tracing on my lines. And as always in art, I am taking my time. Art is not a race. Then I'm going to pick a new color. Ooh, this one looks nice. It's called aqua. And I'm slowly tracing all my lines. Okay, I have traced all my lines with a different color of neon oil pastel. Now I'm ready for the last step to add the watercolor paint on top. So I'm going to get a placemat to put underneath my paper. That way, when I paint off the edge, like right here, I won't get the table dirty with paint and we will have less to clean up at the end today. All right, so I'm gonna take my water cup with my brush it's a little bit wet. I'm wiping off the extra water. And then I'm going to pick my first color. So I'm going to pick sort of this really cool purpley color. But you're going to pick, again, which cover color you want. And you are going to paint this first space on the top with the color you pick. It is okay if I touch this line because, look, it pops right off of it. That's called oil pastel watercolor resist because that oil pastel on my line is pushing the watercolor paint right off of it. And if I run out of paint, I can get a little more water and a little more paint. And I'm taking my time to try to stay above my line. But look, I made a little mistake and I went under my line. Is that okay? Because I just want to try my what? Yeah, try my best and take my time. And if I make a little mistake, no worries. Now, when I'm done with this top space, what do I need to do with my brush before I get a new color? Yeah, it's super important that I wash my brush. So I need to dip it in the water, gently stir, and then wipe before I get my new color. That way I won't get the colors all mixed up and my friends at my table will have nice clean colors to share with me. I'm gonna keep painting each spot, taking my time until I fill in each space with a different color.
Okay, I am all done with my watercolor paint. I'm going to put my brush back in my water cup. And then how many hands do I want to use to carry this to the drying rack? You've got it two hands because I don't want it to drip because I worked so hard on it. So I've got two hands and I'm going to walk it over to the drying rack. Alrighty, ready to get started? Let's do it. <laughs> 